to a new video of mine. Today we're going to be reviewing Made in the AM by One Direction. It came out yesterday, technically today, but yesterday. I was very excited to review this album because One Direction is one of my favorite bands ever. I wish I had started this channel earlier, you know, like right from the first album because I really would have loved to review all the albums. As you can see, I'm wearing actually my Take Me Home t-shirt, hoodie actually, and um, I'm, I, I love this. And yeah, alright, let's get into it, okay? Alright, so Love You Goodbye, it's a very sad song. Damn, the, the lyrics are so strong, you know, it's, oh man, it's so relatable and you can feel this guy. They wrote on this album more than they have done it in their previous albums, so yeah, you can definitely see that. You can definitely feel that they feel the songs. And you can really appreciate how their voices have been developing in this album. I think Louis is... Wow. Louis' voice, it's, it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's a very good song as a whole. It hurts a little. I think we all can relate to the lyrics. We all have had that person that we love so much and we don't want to see them go. But we know it's going to happen and we all have experienced that so uh, hey Angel I think the rhythm is very good it's very nice the vocals are amazing uh, it's very simple the song they're very um, emotional as well you can see that these uh, songs are very truthful I love the dynamic that they have as a group the harmonies and everything it's amazing uh, but I think and a lot of this a lot of songs have this same problem. You can hear a lot of Harry, but not enough of the other three members. The next song is Drag Me Down. You know, this song is very funky, very fun. Uh, it has a great rhythm, but it's very repetitive. It's the same lyrics over and over again through the whole song. It has a great beat drop and everything, but I think it's not the best song of the album, definitely. Though it's very good. It was the first song after Saint's <laughs> departure. I think... It was good for the album, for the group itself. It was good that Zayn left because now they are stronger and they know what they have to, to lose, you know? So I think that's kind of good. It was good for the group to go through that horrible thing. This next song is perfect. It, I love the lyrics. <laughs> it's real, you know? I, I think we've all been there for when that one person that we don't really want to have a romantic connection with that person, but we still want to be with that person. It's a cheeky love song, but it's a love song, so it's kind of cool. It's a friends with benefits song, but again, it's too much Harry. <laughs> and I think you could explore more of Louis' voice or Liam's or Niall's, really, everyone. The next song is Infinity. I think Infinity, it's my favorite. <laughs> One of my favorites. I have several favorites. And I love the fact that this song is gender neutral because it doesn't mean that you have to... It could be for a boy, for a girl, or for a group of people. It's very emotional. I think Niall's voice in this song is perfect. It's magic. It's... wow. The vocals... The vocals are just on point. It has a great group dynamic. You can feel them harmonizing and you can feel them supporting each other through every single part that they sing together. The next song is End of the Day. <laughs> it's a very fun song. It has cool lyrics. Uh, it's, I think the, the rhythm is epic. The vocal, the vocal improvement of the guys. Wow. I just want to take a moment to appreciate Louis. Louis. Oh my god, his voice in this album, it's wow. Uh, I could give this guy an award. The guitar also, wow, 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 wow. I, wow. The next song is If I Could Fly. The lyrics of, of this song are very, very emotional, I think. Um, it's something again that we can all relate. It's a very truthful song and I really love it. I love it with all, all of my heart. I think Harry's voice in this one was amazing. It made me cry. It did make me cry. 
I, I learned from my experience from the Little Mix album and I listened to it before doing my makeup. <laughs> the the music is good, the voices are good, the lyrics are great. It's, as a whole, it's a very good, very, very good song. Best ballad they have done. Okay, the next one is Long Way Down. In this one, I want to take a moment to appreciate Niall's voice because I didn't know he could do that <laughs> with his voice, to be honest. And the lyrics are very sad, very good. Again, Louis in the song sounds amazing too. I think this, this, um, in this song particularly, Niall and Louis stole the show. It's also very relatable, a very relatable song. That's kind of weird in a One Direction song. They tend to sing a lot about being famous. <laughs> so it's kind of weird to, to get an actual song where you can relate. It feels very personal. It almost feels awkward to listen to it because you know it's very personal. Like reading into someone's diaries. I'm really loving the music as well. The, it's very good. Uh, the guys have done an amazing job with this album, let me tell you. Shout out to One Direction's band. The next song is Never Enough. This is the no control of, of Made in the AM. It's very fun, very dancey, the lyrics are very cheeky, <laughs> very sexual. I think this song has blowjob references. So in terms of rhythm, it's kind of the result of a steamy night between no control and midnight memories. The next one is Olivia. I think if there is a song that I don't like in this album, it might be Olivia. Um, I'm not crazy about it. I don't dislike it completely, but I also don't like it completely. I really don't get the rhythm of it. Um, it yeah, it's very weird. It's like a Beatles song. <laughs> I know, it reminds me of one of the Beatles songs, maybe, I don't know, Dear Prudence? Still, I'm not convinced with it. It's kind of good, but it's kind of weird as well, so I'm not crazy about Olivia. The only thing that I could say that it's amazing about this song, it's Louis' voice. <laughs> Next song is What a Feeling. It's a very groovy, very disco song. It's also kind of romantic and kind of sexy, and it's also relaxing. But um, I really love this song, What a Feeling is probably one of my favorites, vocally talking. Um, I couldn't get to appreciate the lyrics that much because I was way too gone into their vocal dynam dynamic. so yeah, I love it. I really love it. <laughs> the next song is I Wanna Write You a Song. This one is also one of my favorites. It's very cute, it's very romantic, and I love the lyrics. The lyrics are just so cute and awesome. It could be the soundtrack of a romantic movie. Okay, I'm going to be very cliche here. It's kind of the song that you listen to in a movie after the guys, the, the couple, the main couple just had sex <laughs> and they're in the bed right there and the guy's playing with the girl's hair and you start listening to this kind of song. It's acoustic heaven. <laughs> Louis' voice again, it's the highlight of this song. And um, yeah, I think there, there could be a lot of fanfics written based on this. Uh, on this song and I can't wait to read them. If you write a fanfic about this song, please link me to it. I want to read it. The next one is History. History is one of my favorites. I sense the feeling that this song is for the fans. <laughs> I don't know. And I start to remember all the things that I did for the boys and how much I really believe in these guys. So... God. <laughs> Everything around this song, for you to enjoy the lyrics. <laughs> nothing else. I really wish they were going to tour with this album because I would go to every show just to hear them sing history. The next song is Temporary Fix. It could be also the soundtrack of a, of a movie, but this one is also very fun and sexy. This song wouldn't fit in a romantic movie. <laughs> this could be more for a kind of like friends with benefits <laughs> movie. The, the lyrics are very cheeky. Uh, it's kind of, it reminds me a little, because of the lyrics, it reminds me a little to Little White Lights in Midnight Memories, I guess. The guys in this song sound like a garage rock band, you know, like they're in college and they're fooling around with their uh, guitars and stuff and they decided to form a band, and but they only play in Niall's garage. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of that, but it's also, it's very good, very rocky, very fun. Pre-chorus, I guess, it's way too good. You guys have to listen to it and I think, yeah, 
if you don't like One Direction and you listen to Temporary Fix, you're gonna like One Direction. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Walking in the Wind. It has a very nice rhythm. Uh, I think it's very relaxing kind of thing. It also reminds me a little bit, a tiny little bit of Clouds from their previous album. It's very relaxing, it's very YOLO. <laughs> the, the vocals are awesome. I just love the vocals in this song. And the song itself is very good. The next one is Wolves. Wolves is fun, sexy, sort of romantic. And I'm loving the rhythm. Again, it's a very something that relax, relax me a lot. It's very dancey. It it's a song that makes you feel good. But I didn't understand the lyrics. It's a very good song, I guess. The last one, it's AM. I am in love with this song. It's a song. It's a sort of song that you will play at a bonfire with your friends. <laughs> You know, when you're camping and stuff, the lyrics of this song are very true, <laughs> very real, and it's very relatable. I, it's this one, AM is you in a song. This song especially made me smile with my memories. You know, I was listening to this song and because of the lyrics I was remembering so much things that had happened in my life while I'm a teenager and I think it's... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's it's true. The best conversations that you could possibly have when you're young are made in the AM. Right after midnight, you know, 2 or 3 in the morning, when you're with your friends and you're too tired to keep moving, but you don't want to go home just yet. And you're talking nonsense with your friends, but it's kind of the nonsense that you love. It's a very precious nonsense, and I think this song capture those moments very good, so I, I really love it. <laughs> One thing that I can say is that this, uh, this album is not very commercial, and I don't think it stands a chance against Justin Bieber's, because Justin, it's very, very, very commercial. I haven't listened to it, but from what I've heard, it's a very on-demand rhythm, and One Direction isn't really. One Direction is more in a rocky kind of retro thing, so it's a must-have album. I do recommend everyone should get this album. Pretty much it. <laughs> I'm going to leave the links in the descriptions for you to get Made in the AM on iTunes. <laughs> Give it a chance, you know, it's very good. <laughs> if you don't want to buy it just yet and you want to listen to it first, I'm going to leave the link in the description for you to stream it on Spotify all that you want. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I really want to know what you think of this album, so be sure to leave a comment about what you think of this album, because I really want to know. And be sure to subscribe, I upload videos every week. Here's my social media. <laughs> please click here for to go to my Twitter, and here's my personal Instagram for you to see my face or whatever the hell is happening in my life. Here's my other Instagram for you to know what I have been drawing lately. This is just my Snapna Snapchat name. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's pretty much it and I'll see you next week. Bye! Fall to the ground. <laughs>